What up, homeboys? I know this is gonna be look a little random, a little saucy that I'm playing Minecraft as a grown man, okay? I promise I get a good reason, actually I don't. It doesn't matter, okay? The point of why I wanted to make this video that I felt I should do at this point because I have been gone for like, what, four months in this channel? Two months, actually? I don't know. Is that I want to tell you, like, why I quit WoW. I want to actually, like, close uh, not this chapter of my life. That's not something I am planning to do at all, but like what I want to say is that I want to give people some closure as to how could a man possibly get so African-American build as to not play the one game that they loved so much. Okay, that's, that's not an easy thing to do. And first of all, I want to tell you that it wasn't one thing. The the metaphor, the, the straw that breaks the camel's back, if you speak Spanish, maybe it's the, the drop that fills the bucket. The the thing that got me to the tipping point of quitting the game, I would have been deal willing to deal with it if it wasn't for all the other 20 things that were wrong with it, okay? If you're married to a woman 40 years and then, like you say, I'm divorcing you because you started snoring, it's probably not because you started snoring, okay? Like, it's probably, it's, there's probably more problems going with it that you don't know about, you know what I mean? So, yeah, okay, let's start with, like, the actual quit moment, the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak, and that was the WoW token, yeah. I pretty much figured out that Blizzard was absolutely willing to throw the game under, under the bus at that point. Classic WoW started with the promise, the idea that they were not gonna ruin the game, they were not gonna do the things that they did to retail. It was gonna be like, you know, you know, Hong Kong uh, took uh, one country, two systems. We're never gonna mess with your liberties. The promise, wink, wink. It was kind of like that with with Classic WoW, right? And I bought the Kool Aid. Okay, I bought Classic WoW. I played Classic WoW at launch like a maniac. I was super hyped. And to be honest, to be honest, for as they they did fulfill the promise for about two months and then it went all to hell. And, and here's another thing, like, why is this different, the WoW token, from the, the botting? So basically, like, another thing that made me quit, like, at the time, like, the classic WoW launch back in the day, before I came back, was that the economy was in ruins, right? You were supposed to farm gold for six hours to afford your 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 game consumables because inflation was so bad because of all the bots and RMT. And you may be thinking, okay, what's the difference between a WoW token and RMT? Well, it is maybe not even the WoW token on itself. It is the clear admission by Blizzard that they either do not care or they want the game to be like this. That is a loss of hope. That's the best way I can put it. When they put the WoW token in classic Rato the Lich King, that was a loss of hope. By the way, uh, a reason that I thought I should make this video today is because today I hear that they added the shop UI into classic era. They put the shop button in the bottom of your, of your character in classic era now. And to all the people out there coping that saying, yeah, they are not going to do anything with it. Yeah, Blizzard, they will never do anything with it. When they put the new mount in the game, they weren't going to sell it. Totally, they weren't going to sell it. It was just a model they decided to make for nothing, right? That was the only possible way they could ever do that. And of course, it turns out they sold the mount because Blizzard engages in literal crackhead behavior. They will pawn anything to make a quick buck. Again, again, it wasn't the WoW token on itself. It wasn't that, oh, the token made the game unplayable or anything like that. It was like, why should I care about you guys at, at this point? It's clear that you don't care about the game. It's clear that you got no loyalty to the players. Why should I have any loyalty to you? And that really gets you, man. That, that really gets you. I gotta tell you, it's not easy to quit WoW uh, after investing so much time. So yeah, chapter two of this video, okay, okay, like, because I know what you're gonna be saying, why don't you just play on private servers? I did, I did play on private servers, plenty. Private servers were awesome. Private servers were giving a better service than Classic WoW before Classic WoW, okay? I don't know, all the people that are coping right now, and I get it, I get, if you're a professional streamer, right, if you are making a living of streaming, you of course wanted Classic WoW to happen because you can make money of Classic WoW, duh! But to everybody else, you know, a normal player, I know I'm going to try to emphasize with everybody else here, to a normal player that just plays for fun, why would you ever want Classic WoW to happen? Like, we all knew it wasn't going to be better. I, I mean, like, we weren't stupid. And I guess some people don't want to be piracy or whatever. Some people have an aversion to that because America, American propaganda, you know, 20 years of going to the movies and saying you wouldn't download a car uh, gets to you, I guess. But 
Lights Hope, original Lights Hope, not the bastardized version. Version. We're going to talk about this in a minute, by the way. Not the private service from today. Original Lights Hope, eh, original Nostalrios. Even, I dare say, original Vanilla Gaming. Vanilla Gaming stayed the same. Like, it's not that they ruined it, it's just that it's dead. <laughs> They were excellent services. Vanilla Gaming was buggy. Okay, Vanilla Gaming was very buggy, but I liked it. Okay, I played there during Nostalrius. People are like, why didn't you play on Nostalrius? I was there. I was like the one druid in that server. <laughs> oh, the memories. So I did play in private servers a lot. I was very pro private server after they ruined Classic and it, like the lining was on the wall that they were going to ruin Classic. I doubled in Classic WoW every so often, you know, Copium. But that never happened. And for a while, private servers were great. Okay, I will tell you when private servers died for me. And this is ironic because this is way before my channel started. I think the, the good private server, the idea of a good private server, died with classic TBC. Because vanilla, it was clear, like within three months of classic vanilla, it was clear that the game was dead. The game was ruined. We weren't doubting that for a minute, right? But we also still had TVC private servers. I like TVC, that's no secret. Uh, TVC is my favorite expansion, but regardless of that... Ooh, cold. Regardless of that, the thing about TV, uh, TVC private servers is that we had endless TVC, we had Atlantis. We still have them, they are just empty. And they were great private servers. They were even better than the original TBC either server because everything was so overtuned in, in those servers that there was actual challenge. Oh my god, can you imagine playing Classic with actual hard raids? Oh dude. Yeah, I, I remember going to going to Molten Core on like the second week of Classic and just one shot in all the bosses except Gar because of the freaking... Uh, the, the, Vanishes you gotta do, oh that was hard, that was hard, but, but aside from that, you know, like, BWL, joke, MC, joke, I didn't play after that, I quit Classic WoW after that, but like, I am pretty sure if you were to ask AQ40 and the stuff, they would probably say the same thing, I got no doubt in my mind, I did drink the Kool-Aid a lot, okay, I was hoping, you know, you know that feeling when you want something to be true so bad that you lie to yourself, well, that was private servers for me, I always thought or wanted to believe that the new resurgence of private servers was around the corner, you know? Darrow Shire is really gonna get it. Uh, Felmist is really gonna get it. Actually, Felmist, no, that, that, that was a scam from the start. By the way, like, fun story, you know, Alex, I know Alex, not even Alex could, could save face on that one. Right, like, within a week of the server launching, they were already caught selling characters in Felmist. <laughs> Oh, Gummy, never change, never change. I am never gonna play on your servers either. I knew, I knew better, okay? I didn't even talk about it. I knew it was gonna be a scam from the start. I am not stupid. But I was always like that. I was like, oh, that Roshire is really gonna get it right this time. Oh, well, uh, Everlook is really gonna get it right this time. What was the, the, Sunstrider is really gonna get it right this time. Uh, to be fair, Sunstrider was a decent server for like the, the two weeks that it had a population on it. It was pretty decent, I guess. I was always, I was low, always looking for the next thing and it never came. And why did it never come? Okay, this is chapter three of this video. Why did private servers never come back? Private servers never came back because I think classic changed us. This is a, 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 a pill very hard to swallow, you know, uh, of the black color. I cannot say the entire word together because it's going to get like censored on YouTube. You know how that works. But yeah, that, that's a tough pill to swallow right there that, to say that Classic WoW changed the community for the worse. I think the expectations of players from the game for the game changed to the point where like an original style private server will probably never happen. I mean... Even if it does happen, I think Sunstrider again was a like a decent server. It was well scripted, it was well managed, but the the interest of the people for it wasn't there. And I think Classic WoW changed the culture of how we are expected to play the game. Like you you look at Classic WoW and you think it's a sweater game where you need all your consumables, you need like to get all your enchantments and whatnot. That wasn't the case at all back when I used to play private servers. And it certainly wasn't the case at all when the actual expansions were there. Maybe to the exception of Rato the Lich King. Rato the Lich King changed things a lot. 
Ok, yeah, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Ok, Alex Sensual did make a good point that I agree with 100%. And it's that the modern classic WoW, vanilla WoW community is not the same community of people. Or at least it's like those people change to a point that they are unrecognizable. It is not the people that were playing on private servers, okay? The people that were playing on Lights Hope have long quit Classic WoW. Like, they probably quit Classic WoW at the same time as, as I did, okay? They did try it out, but the mo the majority of the, people, or the people playing Classic today are people that started playing Classic WoW and they never played private servers before, or most likely, People that played retail WoW and they just consider Classic WoW like their alts, you know, like a server for on the side. And with that came a lot of changes in how people had an attitude to the game. People wanted to max out everything because, you know, like parse culture, like you, you can get your, your world record DPS or we cannot kill the boss, which is a complete lie. Vanilla WoW was designed, and I think rightfully so, Vanilla WoW was designed to have like a raid of 40 people and like 20 idiots in that raid. You could afford to have 20 people that sucked in that raid and you could still clear the bosses. In retail, that's not the case. I know retail raids are harder, okay? I'm not trying to disparage retail in that regard. regard. And that means that people still have the same attitude. And like, the thing about why do I care if people want to sweat? I don't, I wouldn't care if people wanted to sweat if it didn't, if it didn't affect me. Sadly, it does affect me. Because if you are not willing to do the sweater stuff, getting the consumables, getting the enchantments, maxing out your DPS, uh, getting an ideal composition for the raid, you are either not gonna get invited to a raid, or if you are running a guild, you're gonna struggle finding people to join the raid, because that's what people expect. That's what people want to be in a guild for. A World of Warcraft is an MMO. You need other people to do anything, and if the other people have a different vision for what you wanna do in the game than you do, the game is not gonna work out for you. Simple as. And that's what happened to me. All of a sudden, like in private servers, the two communities interacted with each other. The cohesion, okay, like the... Oh, I lost my pickaxe, crap. Give me a minute. Sorry, anyway, what made the private server community a community by what a community means, right? Died with Classic WoW. Uh, there is no endemic... Uh, people in the private server community, all we got is like the war main fiends farming like ICC for five years on the same character for God knows what reason, I wouldn't even know. Those are the only people we got left. We got also like, you know, the elephant in the room, corruption. Since private servers have no competition right now because like the few servers that can be popular are not pandering to the same people, Ehe, cough, cough, turtle, wow. There is no competition. And what happens when there is no competition, as you've seen when Blizzard has no competition with wow, is that you are allowed to run the game terribly and nobody's gonna be able to do a damn thing about it. The few actors in this community are not good actors. So private servers will never, I mean, no, sorry, that, that's, a, that's a tough word, okay? I'm not gonna say never. I'm gonna say in the short term, the private servers will not be ethical. Private servers will be less ethical, less good, less decent. And of course, that only helps in dragging down a reputation, okay? Like, it's been, what now, seven years since the Elysium drama, right? We still, as a community, haven't recovered from that. We still as a community have a terrible reputation, enabling the bad actors in this community because they are the only servers available. I do not even blame people for playing Turtle WoW because there is simply not that much to do anymore. Okay, if you want to play like a vanilla-ish server, there's nothing else to do. So what happened is that we are enabling those people because we got no choice and the, the worst actors of our community, like the corrupt people, are the only people that get more power. So we are creating a feedback loop in which is only gonna get more corrupt, it's only gonna get less well scripted, less emphasis, less care about the quality of the server, zero regard for the community whatsoever. Uh, even though the WoW token was like the, my breaking point, my realization, that was the concept, the idea of what really made me quit WoW. And the loss of hope, okay, okay, the loss of hope for this game. I, I was willing to tolerate bad server after bad server because I had hope that one day one server was gonna get it right. Okay, that, that hope is dead in my heart. I am very sorry, boys. Uh, that hope is dead. <sighs> that's, that's, that's all you.
that was a little harder to hear than I had wanted to say it. But but you have to hear it, people. You you have to hear it. it it's over. It's over. Uh, the West has fallen. Yeah yeah. Is is not coming back. And I don't. I do not want to say never, despite the fact that I said it twenty times over. Because you know, emotion gets the best of me. I do not want to say never because I want to be wrong. Okay. I want to sip the Kool-Aid. I want to believe that this is going to be fixed because I love the game. The game was never the bad thing about WoW. The game is excellent. If you could give me Light's Hope from 2018 and put that on repeat forever, I would play there forever. I would be an 80-year-old old man in like a nursing home and I would be playing that thing, okay? That's what I really care about. This is heartbreaking, uh, but this is the only... Sensible thing we got left. Wanna see something cool here? Oh Free sand. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you feel the same way that I do guys. Let me let me get the camera bigs for emotional impact here full cap I don't know if you feel the exact way same way. I do I, I have a suspicion that many of you people feel similar because even though I expected when I made like the most recent videos to have people disagreeing with me, you kinda don't. You, you kinda out of my boat. I don't know if that's like selection bias because you watch my videos, so you of course you're gonna agree with me. Or like this is the overall feeling of the community. This is sad. This is sad. Either way, you guys, I wanna tell you that this channel will be dedicated from now on into commentary about the MMO community as a whole. I want to cover people in the MMO community, not the games themselves. Uh, I mean, making games is fine, but if there's no decent game to play, it's like, what, what's the point? Why, why should I teach you how to play a game that I do not want to play because the... I'm gonna die in Minecraft, dude. Sorry about that. <laughs> how do you think I feel when I would be forced to make, like, tanking guides for Rato the Lich King Classic if the game sucks and I do not even want to play it? Like, there's, there's no point. I still care a lot, a whole lot about the community, okay? Like, you know about Alexential, I made a video on Stay Safe yesterday, I'm sure you know about that. Uh, if you don't, you should check it out. These people in this community, these characters, had a lot more to give than the games. And I, I still want to be present in the MMO community because hopefully, hopefully, I don't have my Bible near me. Oh, I do. Hopefully. We are gonna get a good MMO, or a good tribal server, or a, or a good whatever I can actually play and waste my life over again. Until that happens, we, we still got a lot more coming. So subscribe and join my Discord, don't be a winning hat junior. And thank you everybody for staying here this long. It's not gonna end. It's not gonna end. It's gonna keep going.